We're going to find the values of the other trigonometric functions of theta if cotangent theta is negative 4 thirds and sine theta is less than 0. Um, you can find this problem on page 143 of your learner's material. Ang gagamitin una, kailangan malaman natin nasaan yung quadrant. Is it in quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4? Let's have a review first. Let theta be an angle in standard position if Q, point Q, X, Y, any, be any point on the terminal side of theta and R is equal to the square root of X squared plus Y squared. So this is a circle of with radius R. Then we define the six trig functions as this. So cotangent theta is equal to negative four thirds. Cotangent theta is equal to X over Y where Y must not be zero. And sine must be less than zero, or it means it's negative. Less than zero means sine is negative. Kailangan ding hanapin sa ang quadrant ang cotangent y negative, because this is negative four thirds. Sa andin quadrant, at the same time, your sine is also negative. Now, let's have the quadrants over here. On the first quadrant, your sine and cosine are both positive. So, positive si cosine, positive din si sine. So, ibig sabihin si cotangent, which is x over y, which is plus, this is your x, and this is your y. Your x, it's, since it's x over y, so it's plus, plus, plus over plus, cotangent is x over y, so plus over plus, so it's positive. Cotangent here, in quadrant 1, is positive. Sa second quadrant, negative yung cosine mo, positive yung sine, or negative yung x, positive yung y. Cotangent here is negative. Cotangent here is negative. So, baka pwedeng quadrant 2. Now, let's see on quadrant 3. Negative, negative. Para sa negative ang x mo, para negative din ang y. So, cotangent here is positive. So, hindi na to. Kasi positive si cotangent dito. And on the fourth quadrant, Positive si x and negative si y. Dito, negative din yung cotangent mo because it's x over y, so it's positive over negative. So the answer is negative. So dito lang tayo sa dalawa. Pero sinabi din dito that sine is negative. So, since dito negative si cotangent, dito din negative, pero saan negative yung isa pang condition? We, we want the, we want that sine must be negative. So, dito negative si sine. So, ang hinahanap natin ay theta na nasa quadrant 4. Okay. Now, since we already know na ang theta natin ay nasa quadrant 4, let's draw the triangle on quadrant 4. So, we want theta in quadrant 4. So, nasa quadrant 4. Again, paano natin i-drawing kung nasa quadrant 4 yung, theta, yung, yung angle natin? Pag nasa quadrant 1, pag ganito yung drawing natin. Pag quadrant 2, pag ganito. Pag quadrant 3, nandito. Actually, angle natin ito. Ito yung angle natin. For quadrant 3, nandito. For quadrant 4, pag ganito. Quadrant 4. So, for quadrant 4, we want this. Sorry. Quadrant 4. So, here is our theta. And, now, since cotangent theta is negative 4 over 3, remember cotangent theta dun sa isa natin. Cotangent theta is x over y. It's x over y. So, x over y, x yung 4, 3 yung y. So, x yung 4. So, this is this is 4, and this is 3. Again, negative 3. Actually, negative 3 kasi sign, sign must be negative. So, negative 3 to. Negative 3. Actually, yung point, this particular point over here is 4, negative 3. Okay? Now, let's solve this using Pythagorean theorem. Positive 3 lang to kasi we want, uh, I, I'm representing the distance, itong length na to. It's 3. 4 naman to. But the coordinate is 4, negative 3. Okay? So, we want to solve this. 
this is a right triangle. 4 over 4, 4 and 3. Oh, Pythagorean triple, this is 3, 4, and the hypotenuse must be 5. Okay? And then, since kompleto na to, kaya na natin kuhanin lahat ng trig functions ng theta. So, let's start with, let's start with sine theta. Sine theta is, uh, this, is your this is the radius of your circle, by the way. So, pag ginawa mo circle mo, yan, yan, yan. Okay? So, sine theta is y over r. y over r, this is 3 over 5. But, since this is in the fourth quadrant, so negative 2. So, it's negative 3 over 5. Your cosine theta, cosine theta is x over r. So, it's 4 over 5. And it's positive since your theta is on the fourth quadrant. And then, tangent theta. Tangent theta is x, uh, sorry, y over x. So it's y over x. So it's 3 over 4. 3 over 4. But your tangent must be negative. Kasi nasa fourth quadrant. And then, cotangent theta. Ito yung given. Cotangent theta is negative 4 over 3. Negative 4 over 3 kasi x over y. x over y. So, it's 4 over 3. And it's negative because it's in the fourth quadrant. And then, we need to look for cosecant. Cosecant theta. It's the reciprocal of sine. So, it's negative 5 over 3. And then, cosine theta. Cosine theta is 4 over 5. 4 over 5. Do not kukuhanin yung value ni secant theta. Uh, the reciprocal of this, which is 5 over over 4. 